Hey guys and welcome along to another video. This video is the next video in our Quest for SS series. We're in the Group 1 category today around Interlagos. If you're new here, on this channel we do all sorts of GT Sport related videos. So if this is your first time, consider subscribing. So let's get into it. We've qualified 4th in the Mazda. As we all know, I absolutely love this track. I love the real world track, so Interlagos is probably my favourite. So I expect to be nearish the top and challenging for a win. So let's see if we can do that today. Coming down to the first corner, as usual, try and be a bit conservative, cover that inside line. Uh, a little bit of contact, but nothing too bad. Make sure I don't cut the corner on the way out. Out of the centre S's. And we've got through OK. And we're in fourth. Luckily the pack behind is squabbling, which will allow us to settle down and get after these front three. So a point of note as we make our way around the first lap. This is the first race following Polyphony's ginormous 20 odd gig update that was supposed to fix a number of issues from previous updates. There were issues around steering wheels, there was sound issues, there was loads and loads of issues that they wanted to wrap up with this one big update. One of the issues that I'd hoped and I think everybody had hoped they'd fixed is the algorithm for the penalties which I believe and this video will outline has gone backwards since this new update. Let me know in the comment section down below what your experiences have been since the update with penalties. Have you found they've been more sensitive or anything like that? I know I certainly have. Let's get a bit of a discussion going down there. So going back to the race, as we catch up to third and hopefully make a pass, there's some penalties, like this one here, track limits, which I completely support. So I have gained an advantage by carrying more speed into that corner, but as a consequence I've run wide and all four of my wheels have gone off the track. So absolutely, I deserve a small penalty which negates any advantage I may have gained. Round into Lagos, to be honest, I think they should be a little bit stronger. As you'll see me take the centre rest at the end of this lap, or any of the subsequent laps, I actually cut the track. I come across onto the dirt, straight lining the S's, which allows me to carry more speed, which in real life they don't do, but however, I have to do it to stay competitive. So I'd much rather they get a bit stricter there to stop people from doing it, basically, because it's not realistic. However, on Monza, so Polyphony are in a bit of a tight space here as I make the pass, a bit of a robust pass, on the Swedish guy up into third. As I was saying, they're in a bit of a tight spot because on Monza, we all moan that it's too strict. So I understand that I want to have a little bit of balance here, but they need to look into it certainly. Here I am again, pushing track limits, gaining too much speed through the corner. So yes, absolutely, another penalty. No problem with that at all. Going back to the race itself, we are now starting lap six. We're beginning to eat into the lead and the gap the front two have on us, which is gonna rapidly diminish as they begin to argue up in front. We've caught right up on them through the technical section. We're now about five tenths behind them. And the guy in second in the big is just gonna run a little bit wide there. So we're gonna get the run on him all the way up the hill. And we'll have him. So as always, gonna ignore him now. Pick our breaking point, And 
then we can start getting after the guy in first. Well, that was the plan anyway, until we get hit up the backside. I don't know if the outbreak or whatever, but we're now back down to third. So we're going to have another run on him down here. Let's see if we can stick it to him. So I'm going to look up the inside and fair play to him. He's just going to let us back through. So no issue with that at all, but I don't see that he got a penalty. So starting lap 8 now, this is going to be the lap that we pit. So Andre has already gone into the pits, so we've got a bit of clean air behind us so we can concentrate on getting a quick lap in, it's so important to get that fast in lap. So we can take some time out of the Spanish guy in front and hopefully give us a chance to get the race victory. So we've managed to take seven tenths out of the Spaniard in front as we make our way into the pits to get some new boots and a full tank of fuel. So as we come out the pits we've actually managed to overtake him. We're now in the lead of the race, I don't know what happened there, but we are now three-ish seconds ahead of the Spanish guy, but he's going to start hunting us down a little bit. So as we know we're capable of the fastest lap, as it shows by our 20.7 that we did on lap 4, I need to start concentrating and get that down and not make any mistakes, because if we can recreate that form, Unless he finds some time, he simply won't catch us. Fast forward into lap 10 now. We're 1.4 seconds ahead, but we've still got a 2.4 second penalty to serve. So that's in my mind, and I'm really having to push now. We're going to have to get rid of it at some point. So as I make our way down into the final corner, I'm just going to absolutely lose the back end and bin it. Off, 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 bang. Oh. So not only have I lost the lead and going to lose second place, I then get a 25 second penalty for my troubles. Now I'm absolutely baffled how it worked that one out. Any chance for a race victory gone and my SR is going to take a hit. This is why I think the penalty system has actually gone backwards since this new update. Because that, for me, just isn't right. But anyway, nothing can be done about it now. Let's see what we can salvage from this race and try and overtake some people. So first on our list is going to be the guy in sick, Frenchman in the Porsche. We can get a decent run on him down the back straight here, pull out, he's going to look in the mirror and just block us. Trying to salvage something from this race is going to be harder than I thought it would seem. So we get a pull run up the hill and we're now going to get some pressure from the German behind us here. We're going to get some contact from behind, here it comes, there it is, and then a lunge up the inside. Some more contact onto the grass contacts I'll come back on but we may well have just survive that one
He's obviously made a mistake, the German guy, because he's now four, nearly five seconds behind us. So we can concentrate now on getting back after that Frenchman. Moving on to lap 13 now, the Frenchman has actually managed to overtake both 5th and 6th. So we've got another Mazda and a Bugatti. The Spanish guy and the Swedish guy again who are battling pretty hard for that 5th place. So they're holding each other up. Hopefully we can overtake both of them. The Spanish guy and the Bugatti is just going to punt the Mazda up the backside so he runs wide. There's going to be contact. I'm on the grass. Ugh. Not great driving going on there. The quicker we can dispose of these two, the better. As we come up the hill, the Swede's going to be, I presume, serving a penalty. As the Spanish guy comes past, he's going to initiate more contact there. I'm going to try and go up the inside of them both, but he's just going to turn in the Spanish guy into the Swede bumping him across into me. We make the move stick, however, I get a five second penalty, which we're again gonna to have to scrub off. So finally guys, you join us on the final lap of this eventful race here at Interlagos. We're gonna overtake the Frenchman. Karma's gonna come around for him as he's clearly serving a penalty. And we're gonna have that place back. Again, not the way I want to do it, but we should have been ahead anyway. Coming into the final corner now, I'm going to have to scrub off my own five second penalty, losing a place to the German. We're on the final straight now, and this race hasn't yet stopped giving. It's got something else in store for us, as, as we try and overtake the German who's serving his latest time penalty on the racing line, he veers right as we overtake and tries to collect us on the way through. So after all that, we get a fourth place and the fastest lap. God, I'm exhausted, what an eventful race. We had a little bit of everything there on our quest for SS. We got some penalties, we got some dirty drivers. We got a whole array of stuff. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that guys, as always, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.